This week we're checking out Brookline, Massachusetts. Brookline is a town that abuts Boston and it is surrounded just by Boston and Newton. Um, and even though it is in between those two cities, Brookline is a town. It is very densely populated and there are a lot of people who rent in Brookline. The population of Brookline is about 62,000 people. And even though there are some densely populated areas, there are some areas of Brookline that give you more of a suburban feel. Brookline is home to some uber rich people. Tom Brady, former quarterback of the New England Patriots used to live in Brookline and Robert Kraft, the owner of the Patriots, lives in Brookline. Most of Brookline is an upper middle class town that is home to a lot of beautiful architecture, old, old homes, think brick, think ivy, think slate roofs, along with triple deckers and lots of condos and apartment buildings. Because Brookline is so close to Boston and all of the hospitals that are located in and around the city, it is a commuter's dream, especially if you work in the medical industry. Brookline's main road that goes through the town is Route 9. Brookline also has a lot of public transportation options. You do have the commuter rail that doesn't stop in Brookline, but skirts the city. And you also have the Green Line, which has several stops in Brookline. There's also the buses, there are the blue bikes that you can rent as well. And then of course, there's lots of taxi services and Ubers and that sort of thing. Brookline does also have a lot of bike routes on its major roads. So if you're someone who likes to bike to work, you can do that in Brookline. As far as schools go, Brookline has one public high school, six public K through eight schools and lots of different preschools. As far as private schools, you have the Park School, you have Dexter Southfield School, you have the Chestnut Hill School, and you have a slew of religiously based schools. The total enrollment of public school students, K through 12, is 7,000 people. There are a lot of people who live in Brookline who do send their kid to private school. Brookline has a lot of coffee houses, a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants, a lot of entertainment and things to do. There's the Coolidge Theater that has been open since 1933. It holds 700 people and it offers movies, it also offers classes, seminars, and it also has open screen nights. There's also Lars Anderson Park. Now Lars Anderson Park is amazing. And when I was walking through it recently, I saw people picnicking, I saw a soccer game happening. I saw people gardening. I saw people walking, pushing strollers. I saw people going for a run. I saw a quinceanera happening. I saw an engagement photo shoot. And I actually saw preparations for a wedding that was going to happen. All of that was happening at Lars Anderson Park, yet it was still so peaceful, so beautiful, and so serene. It's pretty cool to have a park like that in the middle of bustling Brookline, surrounded by buildings and busy roads and lots of noise and still be able to have a peaceful and enjoyable day there. I saw people reading books. I saw someone with a sketchbook. I also saw kids hanging out on a park bench. There's so much to do and there's a lot of action that's happening at Lars, but it's also a very calming place to go. There's also the automobile uh, museum that's at Lars Anderson Park. And when I went, it was closed, but you'll see pictures that I'm gonna show you here of the beautiful architecture and the beautiful building that houses the museum. Of course, Brookline is also the home of President John F. Kennedy, and um, you can tour the home free of charge most days, and you can get a glimpse of what the home looked like when JFK was a baby and the street he grew up on, um, and it's really nice to have that in Brookline. All right, let's talk about homes. Now, Brookline sold 119 homes in 2022. As far as condos, Brookline sold 453 condos and there were 944 rentals in 2022. So that gives you or should give you an idea of the type of real estate that you'll find in Brookline. You'll find some homes, you'll find a ton of condos, townhouses, duplexes, things like that, and you'll find even more rentals. 
it is not cheap to live in Brookline. Last year, the average sale price of a home was $2.7 million. And the most expensive home that was sold last year was $9.2 million. And the least expensive home was $700,000. So it's not cheap to live in Brookline. And get this, of the 119 homes that were sold in Brookline last year, only five were under a million dollars. 37 between one and 2 million and 77 were over $2 million. So it's really expensive to buy a single family home in Brookline but you can also buy a condo for a lot less money and reap the benefits of being a resident of Brookline. Before we start talking about houses, I do wanna say the Brookline is home to state-of-the-art hospitals that are the best in the world. So if you live in Brookline, you're lucky to live near some of the best medicine you can find. With that though comes noise. So if you're gonna live in Brookline, be ready to listen to the sound of ambulances. Um, it's just the way it is. Today, we're gonna to take a look at three homes. We're gonna take a look at one that is in the mid one millions, one that is over two million, and a new construction that is at $5 million. If any of those homes that I show you today sound interesting to you, you can always call me and get in touch and I'm happy to give you a private showing. If none of those homes are interesting to you, but you wanna learn a little bit more about Brookline, I'm always happy to chat. First home we're gonna check out today is at 193 South Street. This home is listed for 1.790. It's got four beds, three and a half baths. It does have a primary bathroom. This home is on a 9,039 square foot lot. The total living area of the home is 3,087 square feet. Taxes are $11,620. This home does have a walkout basement, which also includes a family room, a large storage area, and a full bath. The home also has central air and a one car attached garage, which is rare for Brookline. The home does have a fenced in yard. It is close to playgrounds, shopping, dining, and medical centers, along with public transportation. Next home is at 12 Drew Street. This home is listed for 2.569. It has seven beds, four and a half baths with a primary suite. The total living area is 4,749 square feet and it is on a 6,260 square foot lot. Taxes are $19,449 a year. This home was built in 1900 and has stunning architectural details, including eight fireplaces, moldings, carved balusters, mantles, arched doorways, and stained glass. There is also two finished rooms that have full-size windows in the basement, and there is a third floor that has bedrooms in it as well. There's a beautiful deck off the kitchen. This home does have central air and is located in the coveted Fisher Hill neighborhood. This home is considered an historic property, which is really cool. However, some historic properties have limitations on what you can do to the home inside and out. So definitely worth a call to the town of Brookline Building Department to see if the home does have any restrictions. Last home is new construction at 216 Tappan Street. It's listed for $5.65 million, seven beds, five and a half baths. Total living area is 5,800 square feet and it's on over 23,000 square foot lot. This home has it all, modern architecture and high end everything. Give me a call to learn more. All right, so there you go. Those are the three homes I highlighted today. If any of those homes sound interesting to you and you want to learn more, a little bit more about them, please reach out. I'm happy to help. And if none of those homes suited your needs, but you're interested in learning a little bit more about Brookline, give me a call. It's never too early to start the conversation. And if you like this video, you got even a little bit of value out of it, please hit that thumbs up and certainly subscribe and hit that bell so you get notified whenever a new video drops. See you next time.